Slim. What's the hand Chris? I think I said this to you when I saw you this morning. For the first time in this Misfits fight week, welcome home. <laughs> back at it. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time. I'm back home, man. It feels good. It feels really good. Not only are you back in, you're in a huge fight. Yeah. Is this the fight you wanted? Oh, man, it's the fight that people wanted. I didn't choose. People make it seem like I'm choosing my fights. Oh, Slim chose this guy. Bro, I never chose any of my fights, literally. Temper fight, I took it in two weeks' notice. The Ryan Taylor fight, he jumped me. I had to get my get back. And I didn't even want to do that fight. I didn't want to give him the opportunity, but Mams was telling me, yo, do it, yada, yada, yada. So I did it, beat him. And in Zanetti fight, I wanted to fight I wanted to fight Gib, I wanted to fight Kenny, but these guys didn't want to fight me at the time because they see me as a big threat. So um, Zanetti was the only man that stepped up. So people say, oh, Slim fought a debut. That's the only dude that fought on his debut, technically. And bro, he's been fighting, he's been competing for a while. So um, yeah, people make it seem like I choose my fights. That's like the narrative that's going around. But as, it's, all, it's not true. In this fight with Salt Poppy, they chose it. The people chose it. So no excuses. When I get this dub on October 14, no excuses. I don't think anyone can argue the people want this fight. What do you think the reaction is going to be when the news is out there that, that, that Sol Papi's opponent, who it's been m many guesses going around, it's been much rumoured, it could be this guy, it could be that guy. It's the one everybody wanted. What do you think the reaction is going to oh, be? Oh, I think it's going to be crazy. I'm so excited. I, like, honestly, like, but it's so funny because every single day with me, there's different kind of rumours. Oh, Slim is fighting in the Middle East. Oh, Slim is fighting Gid. Oh, Slim is, uh, you know, like, he might be fighting Papi. Like, there's so many different rumours with me going. Every, every single day, it's like a new rumour. So it's like... I know that the fans want this so bad, so on Saturday night when I walk out, I know it's going to drive the, the internet mad. Like, I think we're going to break the internet. <laughs> Talk to me about the fight. Slim versus Salt Papi. Salt Papi versus Slim. MFB middleweight title on the line. Talk to me about the fight. What happens? Hey, um, it's going to be a crazy fight. Papi's my guy. You know, we actually celebrated our fight, our wins back in January on Misfits 04. And it's just so funny looking back at it now. Like, now he's my rival for, for the Misfits middleweight title. And um, it's, it's going to be a good fight, I know that. But I feel like I'm in a whole different level right now. Like, compared to the slim la everyone last saw, like, I took a little break because I want to focus on my craft, focus on my skill, and I focus on my flaws. Uh, see what I, like, I, I studied myself as a fighter, you know, and I leveled up big time. From January to now, it's a, it's a whole different slim. So I'm excited to put my new skills to the test, to the guy. Everybody says he's top dog. Everybody says he's the best in the scene. So I want to prove that I'm the best in the scene. And I'm going to prove that by knocking out Papi on October 14th. Your trajectory has been on an upward arc, if you like. That's what we, I mean, you say it yourself. You took these fights, like dangerous fights at short notice. You keep claiming W's. Salt Papi, on the other hand, he's almost like a, you could say, maybe a wounded animal because his was on the way up as well. He takes a really tough fight in Anthony Taylor, takes the L. He's now on the comeback, if you like, in a fight such as yourself. Huge exposure, huge pressure maybe. Does that make him a dangerous fight for you? Definitely, definitely. Like right now, this, this Poppy is the most dangerous Poppy that we're gonna see. Like he's, he's hungry, you know, he needs this win. You can't, you can't lose two times in a row. Like if you lose two times in a row, people are gonna like not care about you no more. So I know I'm gonna see him at his best, but that's what I want. Cause I don't want no excuses, man. Like every time I beat somebody, they always come up with an excuse. Oh, my friend lost early tonight, so I, 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 was, I lost my focus. That's one excuse. Another excuse, oh, uh, I didn't train hard enough. Oh, another excuse. Everybody keeps making excuses when I beat them. They can't just say, oh, Slim was the better man that night. So that's what I'm telling Poppy. No excuses. You're in your best form. I'm, I'm going to be in my best form. I don't want no excuses. The best band wins. Going to be the new middleweight, uh, Misfits middleweight champion. I referred to you in the digital face offers. Okay, your middleweight contenders but you're really heavyweight names in the oh, Misfits I universe. like that. You, you are both household Misfits names. What does it do for the scene, having two of the biggest names willing to face each other at such a prestigious event? So uh, this year has been, in general, been such a big year for boxing. You know, we had, you know, we had Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. We had Tank Davis versus uh, Ryan Garcia. We had Spence versus Crawford. You know, all, seeing all these big fights, like it's like, made me so inspired. It made me want to have give a fight that the fans really care about. And in the Misfits world, this is that fight, Slim versus Poppy. This is the fight that a lot of people wanted to see. So, um, uh, a lot of t a lot of people in the scene are really scared to fight top competition. So, uh, this kind of fight is gonna, I feel like, help develop scene to a more competitive level. Like it, it's gonna bring the competition out of everybody. So, I hope we can inspire the, the next generation of fighters to really step up and challenge themselves. Some of the names that you mentioned there 
have spoke about Salt Pappy on other platforms in other interviews, and they've said that he's the one that that most resembles a pro. He's the one that sort of brings in footwork to the next level of crossover boxing, if you like. He's the one that maybe could use this as a platform to move into the pro game. Do you see his style as a particularly, maybe more specifically pro style in that, comparison to someone like a Ryan Taylor or something? 100%, 100%, you know, like uh, I agree, like he looks pretty when he fights. He definitely looks pretty, like, and he looks like a professional, but that don't mean nothing, you know? It, that, that don't mean nothing to me, you know? There's always, I see guys like that in the gym all the time. They look so nice in the gym, but when it comes to fight night, they really perform like that. But poppy has been performing. He's been performing, but his last fight against Anthony Taylor, Anthony Failure, I should say, uh, he should have he should have won that fight, honestly, like, it, in terms of skill level. Like, Anthony Taylor's, Anthony Failure is not really, he's not all that. You know what I'm saying? He should have he should have beaten him. But I feel like the pressure got to him because, you know that Bruckner win was such a like A plus performance that it's kind of hard to top that. Like I kind of I kind of messed with him mentally, I guess. So it's kind of hard. Like imagine coming over from an A plus performance and everybody's expecting you to do this A plus performance again against uh, like an MMA fighter. So like I felt like that f- kind of got to him and he didn't perform the way he wanted to. So um, uh, yeah, this fight means a lot. Uh, what was I, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what happens when you when you're looking at a fight uh, of this magnitude. It's what happens. You, yeah. you get, kind of get sucked yeah. into the narrative. Yeah, like I said, he looks pretty. And me, I look sloppy when I fight at times. But I, I've been working on that. I work. I've been working on that. Like, but I like to bang when I fight. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take him to deep waters that he's never been before. You know what I mean? I feel like you don't got the like the last guys I fought. They might not be on that kind of skill level, but. They had the desire and heart to win. Like they really wanted to win. They'll do anything. They, t- they took beatings, and they still kept coming forward. I feel like with Poppy, like he 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 didn't really like dig deep in his last fight like that. And if you don't dig deep with me, you're in a whole lot of trouble. I love this idea of taking each other to deep waters because if you look at the Bruckner win uh, and the Andy Worski f- win for, for for Salt, they're destructive finishes, right? Yeah. They're on the button lights out good yeah. night you've shown specifically in the taylor and zanetti fight that you can take that you've been chin checked and you've come through the other side of that what happens if we get drawn into that kind of slug fest and the skills go out the window yeah. and we see him land that punch perfect shot but on a chin that's been tested and has stood the test what what happens hey man i, I think a slug fest works out in my favor even better honestly because that's that's the kind of fight i love i don't know man i love that kind of adrenaline I love, because, and I, I land, when I throw my punches, I, I'm going to land. I, I know I'm going to land first, so if he tries to come to Slugfest with me, I think that's, that, that's the worst thing he could do. His best bet is just, you know, trying to be, uh, uh, trying to stay, uh, stay in his back foot and trying to counter. That's, his, that's what he's best at. I don't think he's good on his front foot at all. Like, he can't come f- forward and fight aggressively at all. Whenever, he, like, the only time he fought aggressive in any of his fights was against Andy Worski, a guy that doesn't even know how to go like this. Like, he doesn't know, how, literally, he doesn't know how to go like this. He doesn't know how to keep his hands up. Like, he, he really don't know how to defend himself. So it's easy to be aggressive against someone who don't know how to defend himself or move, move the head off the center line. Um, against his first fight against Halal Ham, Halal Ham, he was obviously outboxing him, but he didn't come forward at all. He wasn't coming forward. He was just waiting for Halal Ham to throw a punch and he'll counter. That's, that's all Saul Poppy is good at. He's a very good counter puncher, but I don't see him. I'm a good counter puncher as well, and I'm good on my front foot, and I can fight in the back foot. I, I think I can do it all. I'm someone that could do it all, but he's dangerous. Don't get me wrong, but he's only dangerous in one way. I think he's a one-way fighter. And I'm gonna prove that to what fourteenth. I like that. I like that you slipped the date in. You <laughs> slipped the broadcaster in as well. <laughs> Where does the winner go? What happens when the winner gets their hand raised? They get the belt put around them. What does that do for them? Uh, the winner of this fight is gonna, I think, reach superstardom. Like this is like this is the person who's gonna be the man of misfits like for the next year. I think you know. So because. Uh, I don't think anybody's having a kind of fight of this caliber, especially in our division. You know, it's like, this is like, like we're, we're two guys who like made names for ourselves out like in the Misfits world. Like he, he had destructive wins. I had some great wins and now we're coming together meet in the middle. Like there's also a good fight in Dean and Waleed, but Waleed didn't have any crazy wins and Misfits. You know what I'm saying? His only fight was against what, Dean and that was a good fight. But like they didn't come from two different worlds, you know, and like made a name for themselves. Me and Poppy really made a name for ourselves in the Misfits world, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's like two guys who kept climbing to the top and we just facing each other right now. And the best man is to be on top, is to be, like, be on that KSI, Jake Paul level, I think. How big a target is on your back if you take this win? Because there's sharks in these waters. There's Kenny, there's Raksu, there's Anthony Taylor. There's, there's other names that 
they're looking at you guys yeah i mean i think there's a big talk on my back already like everybody wants me literally i'm walking around the hallway everybody's like yo slim i want a chance at you yada yada, yada. i'm coming down to 165 for you like everybody wants a shot at me because they know that's where the money's at you know so and that's where the the clouds at and that's where like all the attention is going to be at so um it don't really matter to me man you know if it makes money it makes sense uh and whoever's w uh, willing to step up against me next you know I'm, 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 i'll take it if it makes sense Feel free to divulge as much information. Were there other were there other offers? Could you have gone elsewhere? Yes, I could have. But no, you didn't. But I didn't, because people keep calling me duck on the internet, and that shit gets me tight. I ain't gonna lie, but if like, you call me duck, I'm like, come on, like for real, like people are gonna forget everything I've done, like just like that, just because I didn't take an offer, like, like I can't. I, it really, that really, it really like kind of upset me on the inside. Like my ego, this is my ego coming back right now. This is my ego. I'm, a, I'm an egotistical dude. You know what I mean? So like I'm coming back, and uh, I'm coming to make a huge statement on October 14. I'm gonna show that I, I, I'm really, I'm really like that. I'm really, really like that. <laughs> October the 14th on the Zone pay per view. You have to separate that friendship. You have to pull it away. And that's, that's my dog and everything. But inside that ring. I'm a hitman, son. I'm the hitman. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. They put a bag on his head. I'm collect. I'm coming to collect that money, baby. Let's go. We ready. One of you is going to be dancing after the final bell. And that's going to be me. You know what I mean? I already got my dance moves ready and everything. <laughs> Slim, we can't wait to see it. It's a huge card. It's a huge fight. It's a huge week. Yeah. We'll see you there. Let's get it.